hey yo what's cool youtube welcome back to my channel guys um yeah man um today we're gonna be doing a recap we're gonna do a recap of the analysis that we did the previous time so yeah man without any further waste of time let's just get into it um let's start with the trade that i'm currently in <clears throat> which is uh, euro nzd yeah man i took this trade this morning like literally today this morning today is what let me see what's the day today today is the 22nd yeah so this morning i woke up early in the early hours of the morning i think it was let me see around yeah it was around 3 a.m 2 a.m i mean 4 a.m yeah 3 a.m 4 a.m between those times so i woke up i had an analysis of this previously i think you you will see it on my on my previous video yeah i took the trade here um i took it on the 15 minute <coughs> i took it on the 15 minute because i saw this this was a break of structure right here so price broke out it formed this mini correction and then i took myself somewhere here i had my stop loss somewhere about there and my targets are, are somewhere here as you can see how the price is playing currently i have my stop losses my stop loss is, is somewhere here you know to protect my profits just in case price turns turns against me i know that i will have secured at least uh, at least like one percent more like break even you know so it's important for you to always protect your capital and do not give back money to the market by the way things look like i'm most certainly um not 100 percent sure but i'm more confident in saying that this price is still gonna drop to the downside you know but now we just need to wait we can't be 100 percent sure all right um so let's continue with the recap um let's see this trade this trade is almost about to hit take profit which is euro usd things are going well so far you know what i mean it's about to take profits we are running at 2.4 percent so that's not bad let's move on to the next uh i'm sure you guys remember i said i was going to be taking this trade this week so it did break out as you could see but it pushed back impulsively so i just need to wait sorry about the sound i just need to wait for it to form like a proper proper correction because right now as you can see it impulses forming a correction so it's most definitely going to go back up to the upside but we're going to be looking at these previous highs right here <coughs> going to be looking at these previous highs right there to see how price gets there if it gets there or what price is going to do in between this range so in between here and here let me just mark it properly uh, let me just mark it mark it so that you can see what i'm talking about so in between this area we need to see how price will move how price will develop so if it gives us something sort of like a correction like this the price does this the price does that then we'll be most definitely waiting to take the trade at the break of the correction All right so if you get something like that most definitely going to be looking to um to get ourselves at the break right here with our stop loss right above the high and um our targets will be will be here All right so with this pair we just need to wait most probably going to be ready by was it, today's monday maybe by wednesday or later tomorrow we'll just have to see wednesday thursday somewhere in between those days so we just need to be patient with it um gold a hey, gold is hectic eh? so as as you guys you could see we recently spoke about gold we said we need to see how gold gets to this point and it was a bit corrective but now it's starting to be a little bit more impulsive so it's still a no go zone for gold you can't really say you could buy here because it hasn't broke any any previous structures and you can't really sell because we at a low this was a previous resistance of which is now support so you can't really sell as yet unless if price breaks down and then forms a correction here 
to to continue going down you know unless price does something like this and then you know something like that and then breaks to the downside only then you'll be looking to sell gold but for now we're still looking for buys on gold and you just need to be patient for it to give you that setup so that's it on gold um <coughs> usd swiss franc um this one's also looking nice for sales um it's still in between the zone so we just need to be patient with this one up until it breaks the structure impulsively and then we'll be looking to to capitalize on the market um we did this with you just now and this is this is this is this is euro gbp with euro gbp it, it looks like it broke but what's important is how did price break and where are we with price so as you can see here this was our first 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 it was, it was our impulse here price corrected like that now we're having another impulse and we're having a a correction so sorry about that so as much as price has broke the support trend line going up it's still in the correction phase and we still haven't broke this so we're still above and this previous resistance of which will turn into future support so price could still bounce off here and then push back to the upside right from here back to the upside so you just need to be patient with price um you just need to be patient with price and let's just cater for what's happening right now uh let's go to the 15 minutes and see if we can cater for this correction phase um like that like that. like that yeah so now we just need to be patient and we just need to wait you know sorry about that again guys so yeah now you just need to be patient with it and just and just wait for the break here yeah, and then the correction to take the bias further up but the bias won't be for long because we as you can see we approach from this resistant level right here so most definitely when price gets there we're going to be looking for something different right um i don't want this video to be as long as the other one um here we missed this trade um reason why i didn't take this trade is because um i was very skeptical of it because this was an impulse okay impulse back down then it corrected and, and it just gave us a small degree of a correction of which is evident maybe on like the 15 minute yeah you can see it properly there um i didn't want to take it because i, I kind of thought like maybe price was still gonna bounce and you know go back up and i also was expecting a larger version of a correction of which it didn't happen and it's not a train smash um there's still other opportunities in the market for us to capitalize on so let's move on from that um with this one nzdjby things are looking quite shaky not really shaky but price is just developing if i can say um we're still having this larger degree of a correction we had the impulse to the downside and we're still having this um sideways market or this correction right here so of which i could be looking for a trade i think now um let me just put this here right there because as you can see this is a this is a correction at the end of the day so price needs to break down and as you can see now what's happening here price is kind of like making a double top formation you know price is kind of making a double top formation um this was a previous top and it looks like it's coming back there and look at the way that price is moving here it's moving um in a correction type manner right so what i could do now with this pair is this and um that and i just need to wait basically i just need to wait for price to break out of the structure and if price does break out of the structure i'll be most definitely certain to take those cells my stop loss maybe right above here maybe just a little bit tighter let's see yeah you know i'll be willing to take this trade like that should it present itself right should it present itself i'm going to take the trade there um yeah so let's just keep it like this for now 
let's just keep it like this for now yeah so yeah man <coughs> this is what i see on nzdjpy should price break that corrective structure we're looking to take it all the way to tp all right so let's move on like this 60 minutes oh man here's another one aud aud cad yo sorry about that aud cad um yeah i mean we're still having this correction here so we're just waiting for price to give us confirmation to, to actually start selling of which here yeah, what we'll be waiting for is almost the same as what we're waiting for on the other pair that we just did now is for price to actually start breaking you know you just need price to actually break below and then it's a go to to start selling this price right here right so we're just waiting for price to actually break and then we we're good to sell to sell all the way down here which is actually a good trade um i'm gonna put this one in my in my journal i'm gonna put these two in my journal it's this one and and this one yeah um <clears throat> here's another good trade that's coming it's not really a good trade it's just, it's just a trade that one can take you know so we're here uh, with um <coughs> euro japanese yen we, it's gonna be a very short trade this is where our structure began it's right here so this is the most recent form of price uh, as you can see this was an impulse this is a correction so we cater for this correction right here like that and we do this right here as well so now we're just waiting for the break once we get the break um or even like some people could would actually just take it where it is right now and target these areas right here but i'm not going to take it like this because it's more of a risk entry if you take it there right now so uh, i'd rather just wait for it to break but now if it breaks look at the risk to reward ratio so one is to 1.8 it's not a good trade for me so i'm going to stay out of this trade because it's as much as it might play out but the risk to reward is not something that's in my trading plan so i'm not going to take it because of those reasons um let's move on so what's this oh this is dollar index oh with the dollar index as you guys can see this is what we expected and price did give us that but like a, a smaller degree of it um and then it broke to the upside man and continued going up as we anticipated it to do so um yeah man dollar is still gaining strength so it is what it is um thank you for watching this video guys please be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and um go ahead man follow me on all my socials in on instagram um i o t b e a t s which is i o t beats underscore at the end um on facebook um it's just my full names lebohang tabeso and iot beats and yeah i mean that's pretty much it because i used to have twitter but now i don't have twitter anymore and yeah man don't forget to like subscribe to me on youtube channel and tell your friends about this channel it's still the beginning um a lot of things are still gonna happen people's lives are gonna change my life is also gonna change you know i'm speaking it into existence and yeah man i love you guys a lot and thank you for tuning in and be sure to come back again.